Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Welcome to the Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, March 31st. It was Rock Hippo Week this week on Big Dave is Cheap, and we are going to recap all of that as well as talk about the future of the channel, some content that we're going to be adding. Let's go ahead and start off with Rock Hippo Week. Rock Hippo Productions actually contacted me after I made the introduction video, and they wanted to clarify a couple of points. So before moving on to the games, let's talk about that. The first bit of news that they passed on was Valve does not in fact view Microvolts as being in conflict with Team Fortress 2. Actually, Rock Hippo Productions, according to their uh, marketing gentleman who contacted me, is working on a Steam version of Microvolts right now. That is going to happen and you should see that coming to a Steam client near you at some point in the future. So hey, that's a great thing, right? Getting your game on Steam is the goal of many a publisher. Rock Hippo, of course, has one game on there already. Completing the cycle and getting both of their games on Steam would really be a great boost to them, so I wish them all luck in the development of that version of Microvolts. So the other thing that they wanted to convey with the email was that they agreed with my assessment of their corporate website 100% that the page was just a template, it was put in place, and then their attention was turned towards actually developing their two titles. Now that those games are up, running, and stable, they are apparently going to look into redesigning rockhippo.com. So that is a big thumbs up on that. I think that that is definitely something that they should be doing. I would suggest looking at companies like NCSoft or uh, better yet, Blizzard. If you look at the Battle.net interface, the way that it tracks all three of your games, it has your active account, and it is used as a centralized hub while each individual game still has its own website, I think that is a fantastic way to do things. And uh, it's the sort of thing that all free-to-play companies who have multiple games need to strive for. So yeah, that was pretty cool to actually be uh, contacted by the company themselves for them to have seen my video and reached out and said, hey, you know, here, pass this information on to your audience. That was pretty darn cool. Of course, my wife was quick to point out that it's probably just this guy's job to Google the company name once a day and uh, check for it on Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff. And he probably just found my video that way. But I'm just going to stick to the fact that it's because I'm super internet famous and everybody who's anybody watches my videos. But of course, that introduction video wasn't all we did this week. We actually made videos for both of Rock Hippo's games, and surprisingly enough, each of those videos contained about 25% game footage. Uh, I know that those videos were a little heavy on information and a little light on gameplay, but it's an odd place to be in to try to convey the right amount of information versus what I would want to convey and to convey uh, the excitement of the gameplay. So, you know, the first take of the Microvolts video that I did, I was in those menus pointing stuff out and talking about stuff for like 25 minutes, and it just didn't work. And I had to really cut that down, really uh, redo that a couple of times to try to get it to the place that it was, and I know 13 minutes of talking about stuff in a menu screen might seem like a lot, but it could have been a whole hell of a lot worse. And you know, I think about you guys, I do think about that. I, I, I mean, how could I not? Uh, anytime you're doing something that's creative and intended for mass consumption, you have to think about how people are going to perceive it and how they're going to enjoy it. I don't want to put something out that you're going to page through really quickly and, you know, fast forward through because you're bored. I want to put something out that gives you the information that I think you need and gives it to you in an entertaining way and gives it to you in a concise manner. I probably failed a little bit in the microvolts video at doing that, but I did a lot of self-editing to get it where it is right now. Brawl Busters, on the other hand, I think was a lot better. The first take of the Brawl Busters video probably went about 15, 20 minutes, and uh, I got that down to a decent time before everything was said and done, and I think that it conveyed all the information it needed to convey in a good and concise way, and, and I was really happy with that video all in all. So. Ultimately, uh, this is one of the struggles of video makers. I know I have a lot of folks who make videos, who watch my videos, and you guys can relate to that. You know, you can relate to the struggle of trying to make things that are going to entertain people. And, and that's one of the things I like about having a small audience. 
I know what a lot of you guys like. You know, I've got feedback dating back months, like Dragon Brad. I know that when I did my free-to-play first-person shooter week, that you didn't like how much time I spent in the videos. And that was good feedback, and that was in the back of my head the whole time that I was making these videos. You know, keep it concise, keep it to the point. Don't bog them down with unneeded information. Don't bog them down with stuff that they're going to find out for themselves if they actually choose to play the game. Give them the information that's going to entice them to play the game or answer the questions that they want answered before actually engaging in downloading and signing up for the game. I hope I did that to a certain degree. Uh, if you've got any feedback for me, I absolutely love it, so please leave it in the comments below. When it comes to giving you my thoughts on the individual games, well, that's what the videos are for. If you want to know what I think about the games, watch the videos. If you want a summary of my feelings on the games, my thoughts, my, my musings, well, Brawl Busters is a fun 4-on-4 four -four combat game. I enjoy it. I like the class-based system. I like the different difference of attack between a ranged character and a melee character. I like the challenge of trying to overcome a character, a person who is playing the character that is your counter. Uh, I love the challenge of the game. I love the fact that I can play so many games in such a short time, get some satisfaction, and move on. And honestly, that style of gameplay is a welcome change in the free-to-play market. If you look at games like League of Legends, Heroes of New Earth, or, hell, any free-to-play MMO, they attempt to consume you in whole and suck you into game after game of 45-minute of games or 30-minute grind sessions in, in uh, Korean-inspired MMOs. They try to capture you, capture your time, and therefore capture your money because you turn around and you say, God, I'm spending s six hours a day on a Saturday playing League of Legends, I need some skins, I need some new heroes, I need whatever else, like XP boost, or runes, or whatever the hell you buy with real money in League of Legends, I don't know. But the point is, it's a welcome change to see a game that says, you know what, you might not play any more than 10 rounds of this game on any given day, but you're gonna have fun. And because you're having fun, maybe you're going to spend a little money. I think it's an interesting attempt at a monetization model, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out in the future. So that is it. That is all. Rock Hippo Week is done, and we ain't going to have another themed week on the channel for a while, because these videos, for whatever reason, were a massive pain to get done. They required a whole hell of a lot more time and research than my normal videos, and uh, yeah, I just want to make some mindless videos where I first impression a game and give it to you guys. And uh, we're going to do that for several weeks to come. Something else that we're going to do for weeks to come is a new series called Free to Play Fridays. Free to Play Fridays is a new little scheme that I've got brewing in my head. A really simple way to add content to the channel. I'm playing a lot of free to play games right now. Honestly, I'm almost only playing free-to-play games. I play Rift a few hours a week, but apart from that, I'm playing a lot of free-to-plays. And what I plan to do is record myself playing those free-to-play games, whatever the occasion. If I'm just sitting down for a 10-minute session, cool, do it, record it. If I decide to get into a League of Legends game with uh, Nitro Mountain and his friends, there we go, we're going to record it. Whatever I'm doing in a free-to-play environment, I'm just going to record it. I'm going to have a lot of raw footage constantly ready to go when I get a few minutes, slap a little commentary on it, and put it on the channel. I'm going to do this in a, uh, as Total Biscuit would say, in the hand model, meaning that I'm going to actually have several of these videos ready to go at any given time. I'm going to do four of them before I post the first one. So I'm always going to try to have four videos in hand at any given time. That way, I'm never struggling to get this series out. It will always come out on Friday, like clockwork. It will be reliable content that you can always count on seeing, regardless of the way that anything else is going on the channel. Whether I'm sick, whether I'm dead, whatever, free-to-play Fridays will happen. So look forward to that, and moreover, I want to play with you guys, so look forward to that. You know you know the free-to-play games that I've, I've been uh, pimping on here, whether it's Blacklight Retribution, Tribes, League of Legends, uh, the two micro, uh, micro Volts and uh, Brawl Busters, the two Rock Hippo games. You know the free-to-play games that I play. If you play those games too, let's hook up, let's play those games, and let's record that. We can get on Skype, we can chat, we can do some live commentary, uh, joke around. These videos are not going to be uh, heavily technical commentary. 
you know, I'm moving in now to take out the radar so that I can... No, it's just going to be BS. If I want to talk about uh, life or, you know, just talk about something that's in the news, tech-related, game-related, I don't even know. I might even talk some politics, but that's probably not wise. So we're just going to talk about stuff. And if you want to do that and play a game with me at the same time, awesome. You know, communicate with me. Uh, email right now is probably the best way to get me. Big Dave is cheap at gmail.com. So uh, tell me the games that you play. Tell me the games you'd like to play with me. And we'll try to arrange some times. I'm usually going to be available on weekends. And uh, like I say, I want to have a lot of these in the hand so that I'm never struggling to put out an episode of Free to Play Fridays. So I hope that you guys will uh, help me in this little experiment. And uh, I would expect Free to Play Fridays to probably start in May. So I would look for that in May, and I'll give you guys status updates. Uh, this isn't going to become another Albatross, uh, like, uh, or Dodo Bird, like uh, Retro Roulette, uh, which is still going to happen sometime. Uh, it's going to be something that I, I am able to do super quickly and super easily, and I'm always going to have several on hand, so we're not going to have any problems with getting them out. I think I've said that about three or four times, but I'm trying to reiterate it through repetition. So... I think that's all we need to talk about this week, guys. I have been Big Dave. I hope you enjoyed Rock Hippo Week. Until next time, take it easy.